Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and well, it's official. I have a date on the calendar, and I am moving. And so in this video, it's a little bit of an update for you guys. I'm gonna show you what it's like to pack all the stuff up, because that was a little bit uh, nerve wracking, as well as give you a preview of the new game room. And actually at the end, I want you to take a look and maybe make some suggestions as to how I should best set it up. So the moving day is about two weeks away, which should give me enough time to pack all of this stuff up. And it's crazy to try to even guess how many boxes this is gonna go into. And as you can see here, it really is just a game of Tetris. Uh, it's almost like whenever you, you pack your own groceries at the grocery store and you're just trying to optimize exactly how these things will fit in. Because you know, in many ways, it's kind of fun to do this, to dig through the collection, dig into the stuff that's a little bit dusty that I haven't messed around with or seen in a little while. And also try to find you know a balance between weight with these boxes because they're gonna be moved, obviously, you know, a great distance and I don't want them to be too heavy. And on that note, something you guys don't know about me because I've never actually talked about it before, and that is I was born with a hernia. And I even got a second one when I was in junior high, like in the fifth grade. Now, if you're not familiar with what a hernia is, it's a tear in the lining inside your body where your organs basically poke through. And I have to be very, very careful lifting things. And so because of that, we are going to be using a moving company. And to that end, I, I do wanna make sure that these things aren't extremely heavy because I know there's a lot of this stuff to, uh, to move back and forth. Now, speaking of things I haven't seen for a while, check out this Xbox One controller that I found basically behind my entertainment center. Now, I showed this photo on social media and a lot of people assumed, oh, well, that's because there are no good games on the Xbox One and he never uses it. And that actually is not the case. This is just the controller that comes with the standard black Xbox One but I typically use a red one. And so that's why I never really bothered to look deeply for this controller. I actually really do like the Xbox One, but I thought this was pretty funny. By the way, that is, that's dust and dander from my pets. As you guys know, I have two dogs and two cats. So yeah, lots and lots of yucky stuff. When it came time to the consoles themselves, I was kind of torn as to whether I wanted the moving company to take those or not, simply because I don't have boxes for all of them. And so I was a little concerned that riding around in a truck with all the other heavy boxes, I just didn't know if I wanted to risk it. Again, most of these consoles actually are really well made and fairly sturdy. They can take a beating, but I decided no, I think for some of those things that are a little bit more fragile that I'll take those. So my wife and I actually plan on doing many trips ourselves, taking some of the more fragile things that we just didn't wanna worry about. Another thing I discovered going through all my stuff is that over the years with having the Metal Jesus crew over to film videos that I had acquired accidentally, uh, maybe on purpose, I, I'll never tell, but uh, some of their stuff. And so I reached out to Reggie, was like, hey man, you might wanna come by and pick up your things just so that they, you know, they don't get lost in the shuffle. And uh, yeah, it was cool because he got to see the game room being torn apart. Oh my God, dude, no more green screen. No more green. Look at all those boxes, dude. That's yeah. That's about half. That's about half, very. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Oh my. Oh man, the shelves. Yeah. Oh my god. Doesn't it look weird. It does, man. So it, it's about it's about eighty percent packed. I th man. Crazy, huh? Yeah, it is crazy, man. I just kind of like think about at the parties you used to have here and everything. Everybody was here, and I was like, man. And so some of the stuff like that, obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna take all this stuff myself. Yeah, of course. Because um, I have a week. Uh, they're gonna move all the shelving. I'm gonna move all of these myself. This is my stack of stuff that I'm gonna move right here. Okay. Just stuff I don't want people banging around in the back of a exactly a moving van. I totally get you. With most of the games packed, now it's time to take down some of the custom shelving. And what sucks is the holes that these leave behind. So I'm gonna have to fill those and I think we're gonna paint down here as well and get it looking nice, you know, for the next people who live here. One of the things I'd like to figure out in the new game room is a better way to play old PC games and possibly stream them online. You know, I, 
I've had this old desk here for about 20 years and it's just a little too confined and I didn't really like how this was set up. In the new game room, I'd like to figure out how to have at least one of these Windows machines and maybe like the Commodore or maybe the Amiga set up so that I can just walk up and play them at any moment. And now the day has finally arrived. It is moving day. It is 8.30 in the morning. And as you can see, all of the shelves are pretty much empty. It's just bare furniture down here. And the moving company has arrived with four guys to help us move our entire house. So I'm pretty excited. It's finally happening. You know, it's funny because these guys are professional movers and they do it all day, every day, right? So they see everything but they don't often see a video game collection like mine because at first, you know, so I'd labeled all the boxes. I'd put Xbox, PS2, NES, all that stuff on the top for me so I know what's in them. And it was really funny for about the first 30 minutes or so, they're like, oh, you're into gaming, you know, they're very casual, you know, oh, that's cool, you know. And then they start to see just how deep the the well goes. It was pretty funny. All of a sudden they're like, holy crap, you've got, you know, this game system from my childhood or, you know, these games. It was actually pretty cool. And these guys turned out to be super cool dudes. They were really into, you know, my game collection and talking about games. It was just a really fun time hanging out with them. They were also really interested in the MAME arcade cab. So much so, I don't think that they'd ever seen one before. They were obviously really familiar with, you know, the original Centipede machine that this is based on. And they'd also mentioned that they'd seen some of those newer arcade one-up, you know, like three-quarter size that you get like at uh, Walmarts and things like that. But they were fascinated by the full-size MAME arcade machine. Uh, it's too bad I didn't have it set up for them to play. I'd actually pulled the computer out of it, but uh, they were like, wow, you know, they really wanted to jump on that. And then it's time to just move lots and lots of boxes. And the way I'd labeled these was pretty simple. I basically would put the destination on the top. So for the new house, they would be labeled as game room. And then for me, I would put what system is actually in the box. So I put Xbox, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, stuff like that. Cause I know that it's gonna be a pain in the butt to try to figure out exactly where all the stuff is and what's in these boxes. And then it was just schlepping them outside, up the hill and into the truck. Hey, hey, you double too. pump in the house. All right, the trucks are loaded and now it's time to move to the new house. And it's about an hour from where I currently live, but it's still in the Seattle Puget Sound area. And what's interesting is that I'm actually closer to some of the Metal Jesus crew and a little bit further from others, but we're definitely gonna be in the same area, so you'll still continue to see all of the Metal Jesus crew on my channel. As I mentioned in the previous video, the layout in my new home for the game room is a lot different than what I'm used to and what I had before, because there's obviously a main game room area, but then there's a second room down the hallway that's almost as large, and so, it's gonna be really interesting to see just how I divide this up. Actually, technically there's a third room as well where it's not as big, but it, you know I have it available to me for storage. That's actually where I'm telling them to put the boxes for right now so that they'll, they'll fill that room up and then move most of the furniture into those two main rooms because I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna configure this. I'm actually gonna lean on you guys a little bit to tell me what you think would be best. And I mentioned previously that I really loved hanging out with these guys on move day. These guys were not only super cool, but they were really interesting to hang out with because, you know, most of the time I spend my day on YouTube digging really deep into, you know, the nuances of video game and video game culture. And also most of my friends are collectors and hardcore gamers and everyone I interact with online are really hardcore gamers. but. These guys were pretty cool because they're more casual, you know? It was really interesting to kind of see where they're spending their time gaming, you know? What games they were passionate about, you know? One guy was, was just getting into PlayStation VR and he only had one game, so he was asking me some recommendations. Another guy was trying to remember, 
if Spyro was, uh, you know, one of his favorite games as a kid, what system that was on. He couldn't quite remember what system Spyro was on. Um, it's just really interesting for me to kind of hang out with people who, again, aren't quite as hardcore. I learn just as much from them as I do from other, you know, gamers. And I just find it really interesting. Oh, by the way, you may have noticed something new to the game room that's currently disassembled, and that is a Nintendo GameCube kiosk that I got recently. I was contacted by a guy who used to work at Circuit City when they closed down, and they let him take this from the show floor, and it's just been sitting in his parents' garage for all that time, and he just wanted to get rid of it. And the funny thing is, he just wanted to trade it for beer, so all we had to do was go down and get it, take it out of his parents' storage and bring it back here. So it's gonna be a pretty cool addition to my game room. I can't wait to set this thing up. So this is the current state of my game room at this time. We literally, as of the recording of this video, just finished moving. It's like my second day in the new house. Everything is in boxes. It literally took me just an entire day to find my computer mouse so I could edit this video. We're still looking for little things. It's, you know, it's a typical move. It's a it's always really chaotic. But I'd love to know from you guys what suggestions you have for configuring this for the space. I know some of you are gonna have some great ideas and I can't wait to read those down in the comments below. And of course, at the end of all this, I anticipate doing a brand new game room tour, probably in a couple weeks here. So I, I'm probably gonna turn that around as quickly as possible. So yeah, it should be really, really fun. Obviously, as you can tell by my voice, I'm very excited. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing and take care.